Hello everyone. Today I would like to share a topic that is uh, how to select a key and switching system for automation or machine control system inspection. And also I will show some actual cases uh, from my working area. Um, so firstly, I'm not a key and representative or key and promotion staff. I'm just uh, running as a electrical programmer uh, working in industry area. I just uh, like to show some actual cases and uh, that's all the cases from my actual projects because you know um, to select a, a vision system firstly you need to think about uh, what kind of a uh, system uh, you need to use the vision system what kind of uh, requirements from the customer because some machines you need to check the part presents or some system you need to inspect the quality of flaws or defect of this part. Uh, that parts come from your machine's products. So that means um, different cases or different requirements need a different uh, tools. In my working area, almost every machine or automation cell, they all need a vision system to check the quality of the products from this cell. The main brand, the vision system, what I'm using, that is a Keyens vision system or Keyens vision cameras. Main series, what I'm using, that is a, a IV series or IX and a CVX series. So if you are the first time to learn or get some knowledge from the Keyens, um, so maybe you could go to the Keyens website and check out the different uh, catalog or download their catalog to learn uh, the basic idea of that. And the Keyens cell system, their typical style is uh, they will have uh, one cell representative for working in your area. And once you connect the scenes, um, basically they, the Keyens will assign one sales representative and visit your plant or visit your machine and work together with you to select one feasible vision system or camera sensor to match your requirements. And the, the typical style that is you need to prepare the parts. Um, basically, you need to prepare the couple good parts and the bad parts, and they will prepare the, uh, the demo or trial system and um, uh, just to set up the temporarily set up the vision system and check or uh, figure out what kind of uh, the hardware system and what kind of inspection tool can figure out the quality check or present check. And and keep in mind the vision system is not only the camera or tool issue. Uh, most of the cases uh, light uh, is very important because the different light a uh, different color, a uh, different angle uh, will cause a totally different results. So let's go to the Keyens website. So if we type in uh, keyens.com and then we go to the products catalog, there's a vision systems, vision sensors, and buckle scanners. And firstly, we can go to the uh, vision system. And the difference between the vision systems and the vision cameras, um, typically the size of them, they are totally different. Um, if we're talking about the vision system, uh, the basic style is like this. So the vision will have a controller here. And this controller can support a um, couple cameras. And for example, CVX, the typical cameras, um, by default, the one system can support, can connect a two cameras and those two cameras can be set up like a X and Y to check one part or check left and right on one part. Or uh, you can add the light and the camera modules on the right side of this, mo uh, this controller and this controller can connect uh, more cameras. And to quickly learn how this system works or what the basic idea of the vision system you can go click this um, vision system cvx series and uh, download the catalog so from this uh, catalog the controller is like this so on this controller 
uh, it has an Ethernet port, and this Ethernet port internally is support the typical industry protocol, for example, Ethernet IP perfect night. This connector that is used to connect the cameras. For example, this controller can support two cameras here. And if you need a light, you need to add the one actual modules here, and that module can supply the two lights there. This is a typical CVX300 series and the CVX400 series. And the typical style, for example, 300, and if you need more cameras, um, so you can add this module, CAE100, and that allows this uh, controller can support four cameras. And also you could add a light module to connect uh, uh, the LED light. And 400, uh, same like this, similar like a 300, 400 can support more modules here. And especially for like a couple of cases what I did before, some lights, it's not a simple light, uh, like a blue light, white light, or red light. And this uh, CVX 400, uh, this CVX series can also support this um, multiple spectrum image capture light. And this light uh, can supply the different colors of the light and you can set that to different colors in your system. And for some, um, for example, in industry area, uh, the part, basically, they are aluminum parts. So the aluminum part will got a different shining that depends on the material of the parts. So the different light, especially the different uh, spectrum of light, that will cause a different uh, reflection uh, in the camera wheel. To program CVX camera, and the typical software for CVX series, that is a terminal software and a simulation software. And this terminal software uh, plays a role like a remote desktop. Um, so if you open this software, it's shown like this. So click this button, it will allow you to connect via the USB or IP address. And once you connect this uh, vision controller, so your screen will show us like this. So um, this screen style is uh, exactly the same like the way if you use one screen and use the EGV connector connect with this controller. The, the desktop screen shows the same way. Just because the typical way in the industry system, we all use the Ethernet cable connection. So if you use a laptop to do the commissioning or to change or fine tuning the parameter, the terminal software, that is a typical software. And this software is uh, not big. Uh, it can be downloaded for free. And other than showing like a screen, to do the commissioning. This terminal software has a one key function that just start a login function. The button will show us like this. Uh, this function provide a way to archive all the actual image from the vision and archive those image to your laptop. Uh, for example, all those images were archived by the terminal software. After the archive, so you could review the images to check out oh, why those pictures or why the parts was rejected, uh, why they passed, actually that is a bad part. And you can review this. Also, those images will be used in the simulation software. Um, let me show uh, what the basic idea of the simulation software. So, the simulation software, the one basic key role of this simulation software that provide a way to download and upload, or let's say, uh, backup the online vision system and download your offline program to the vision system. So the key role, the key function from this button, download and upload, for example, if you want to backup 
the online setting, online program from the actual controller to your laptop. So you should click the download from controller. Uh, look at this direction from here. So if you connect one actual controller, a vision controller, scan that controller, and you can click the add new workspace and click the download. This download means the download button here, that means you transfer the online setting to your laptop. That basic function that we can back up the online setting. For example, once I back up the online program, it shows, could be showing like this way. After you back up this project, you can start the simulator. And for example, you may change the parameters on this tool. For example, this tool, uh, the threshold that is uh, um, 80,000 here, and maybe you change to nine, right? So after you change that, we switch to the runtime mode. So this screen is exactly the same like an online status, but now we are just doing the offline project here. Uh, after you fine tuning the parameter, you need to verify some images you archived. For example, you need to archive uh, maybe 50 good parts images. Also, you need to archive a couple bad parts to validate to your results. For example, like here, so we change the parameter and shift to run mode. And you, we need to drag our image library. Uh, with this uh, uh, with this offline program here and your archived image, uh, you can select your images and drag your images to this area, or you can open this capture folders here and drag your images to this folder. I will copy it to this folder, copy it here, and after you copy it, refresh it. So that means those pictures, uh, those images will be loaded uh, in this offline program. And after you double click, that means your system actually is running and running and checking this actual image. And because this system has a two cameras here and the image was I just loaded, that's just come from the camera two. So that's camera one is empty here, but camera two images uh, are showing here. Um, so every time it's shift to next image. So it's exact the same way like an online camera is checking the image. So for example, if we go back, the picture is updating here, right? And if you go next, for example, this part uh, is rejected. You can you can check the actual images. You will find all oh, this part because this part lost the retainer here. Uh, this is uh, because this is a good parse, and this is a bad parse. Uh, you can clearly see what the difference, and you can verify the new tools you just set, or you can verify the parameters you just tuned. And also, you can use this uh, simulation tool to do some practice and to try different tool and use uh, the archived images to verify if this tool works for the new conditions. For example, if a uh, new bad parts coming up and and your existing tool cannot check it. So you might need to set up a new tool. And to set up the new tool, you can use this simulation tool, try different tool to check that. And after you think you verified uh, completed, so you can download. So you can download uh, this new project to your actual controller. So after you change all the everything and verify everything, so don't forget save it, save this project, and select the product, shift to to upload the download page.
This time we will click the, the Upload to Controller. Uh, select your offline project and select the online controller. Click the Upload buttons here. Take care of this direction and it will transfer your offline program to online controller. So most of case when we need to use the CVX series, um, basically uh, the real cases we need is to check the quality or check the, for example, check the defect, check the flaws, check the dent on the parts, not only check the present. So for example, in this case, um, for example, if this is a one good part, however, there's one pieces of plastic things that drop on the part, so it was rejected. So the vision system check it. This is uncrimped part, it's easy to check, it's totally different. In this case is uh, this area, the internal, the inner retainer is lost, so it was rejected. In this case, is uh, the retainer, the inner retainer, is crashed, and the retainer upside down or crashed inside, and like this case, this is a retainer, the inner retainer upside down, so it shows uh, like this way, and rejected. Some foreign matters here dropped on the part. Upside down cases rejected. And this is uh, the crimp quality. So we can see that. So this is a flaws check, defect check. Uh, so the crimp, the quality. It's not accepted, so we can see this age is not perfect enough, so it was rejected. So like this, this is uh, the diameter of this rim is bigger than the normal, so it was rejected. So this is the uncrimped part with the retainer inside. Or like this way, if the edge is not sharp enough, uh, for example, um, on this edge, it is dent or flaws on this edge. Uh, those parts can be also re rejected by the vision system. So that means the quality checking, most of the time we need to use the CVX series. Because CVX series in the vision checking, um, it's basically the high level is a high end uh, vision system. So that is a CVX series. In this video, we mainly introduce the CVX, uh, how the software works, and uh, we introduce the main idea of this uh, CVX that is a high end vision system, and uh, the main function of this. Uh, here in the vision system, if we need a quality check, uh, for example, if you need to check the defect or check the flaw or check the dent on the parts, uh, or check the some present, uh, for example, as we shown the retainer loss or the diameter size, uh, we need to check. So this high end controller can cover all those functions. So this video will mainly introduce the, the CVX series, and in next video I will introduce the IV and the IX series. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.